boom, the euphoria phase is starting very, very soon. Or has it already started? If you guys want to know more, make sure to stay tuned right to the very end because there's going to be some sweet, short alpha content coming out for you right here, right now on this video. And I have tons of other videos coming out for you over the course of the next few days. And guys, today I am dedicating my day to doing videos. So much love to you, much appreciations because there is cool content coming. I can tell you that. So love you all, stay blessed and stay tuned. Well, welcome back to the Crypto Bliss Show. I'm Kiara DeCast. You guys can see I did a video on Avalanche and uh, the ecosystem of Avalanche. Go check that one out. You do not want to miss out, guys. $10 million Bitcoin. I don't know. Who knows? Do you know? I don't know. But do you know? I showed you proof in there. Can you show me proof that it's not going to go there? I don't know. Can you show me? Let's see what it is that you can do. So. Anyways, guys, today I am very, very excited to be back here with you on the channel. And please uh, come and check out my Twitter page, guys. It's been growing pretty decently over the last little while. And thank you to all my subscribers. I do appreciate you guys. Been really enjoying the, the energy that it is that I've been sharing with you. So I hope you have been enjoying it too. I've been talking about breakouts and, you know, exactly where to... To be taking profits, you know, buy there, take some profit there, put it back in here, let it dry. You guys want to trade and make money with me? Subscribe to my channels. Make sure you guys are part of my community. I post as much as I possibly can. Just keep going back to my videos. The last six months of videos minimum on my channel are still extraordinarily valid for you guys. So go check them out. There is a whole bunch of information in there. There's a whole bunch of products. And guys, I'm just letting you know, I haven't even sold not one of my cryptos, not one of my coins, um, other than, of course, buying my fiat into a stable, then to trade on the a trade and buy the cryptos on spot or um, derivatives trading. You can use my Bybit link down below. That will get you up to sixty, uh, up to thirty thousand dollars in bonuses and. You guys can come over and trade and make some money like i have been making money here just with you guys on all of these moves i keep updating you i keep sharing things with you you can see here right now on the chart we are hitting a very decent level of current resistance upward sloping resistance so i wouldn't be surprised if we did pull back just a little bit more to kind of the 66,500 before making a smash up here. Um, and that would essentially on your higher time frames, on your daily time frame, on this specific chart, actually very much now confirm the shoulder, the head, and the shoulder pattern. And getting ready for that massively massive breakout, um, which as we know, could end up looking a lot like something like this, taking us up to a target of about 90K, guys. More or less, 90K. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below, but you can get up to $30,000 deposit bonus, make some cash. There it is. I've showed you how to convert $4 into $200 already, and this trade isn't over. I'm holding on to this trade, and of course I'll take profits, and I'll wait on pullbacks, I'll re-enter, and probably do this one last time uh, because we're getting very close to a point where uh, it wouldn't be advisable. You would just go intraday trading now, not really holding trades for long term. Because of course, if you have not been holding your trades for as long as I've been holding my trades since down here, like I've been saying to you guys, you wouldn't be up on profit. So, I mean, even the trades, I uh, started buying down here, okay, for my trade. But then I, I took profits, I added I took some profits and then I waited for the pullback, added it in. Um, and that's why I've got most of my buy at this kind of level, at the 40, 45K level. And yeah, looking pretty juicy and pretty good there. So anyways, guys, some of the really cool information that I want to share with you today is all based on charts. So let's go and have a look at some of the charts. Because if we're looking at all of this long term, just recall, if you guys recall together, that essentially... From the start of Bitcoin's inception to where we are today, we're sitting at pretty much all time highs. We have a very incredible way to go. Just at this halving point, looking at all of our data from the halvings 
um, the Bitcoin halvings, you can see that Bitcoin has literally just mounted up and the price moving action has become somewhat less volatile than kind of 2019, 2020, but we're waiting for that liquidity of these ETFs to really start to pile in. So if you guys think that this rally since the ETF was launched, boom, okay, was actually really the real rally. Well, then just remember that gold chart that I always, always showed you guys. Um, and I'll show you, I'll actually show that to you guys right now. Why not? So, you know, just if you guys recall, when the gold spot ETF was launched, okay, in fact, let's put this on the weekly so that we can see more clearly, okay, when the gold spot ETF was launched, guess what, guys? Firstly, that was all the way down here, okay? Just have a look at the Bitcoin price or the Bitcoin chart here once again with me, okay? The Bitcoin spot ETF was launched here. We still can see like movement and price action in the chart. And even with this juicy cup and handle pattern that has formed, check this out. Okay. Look at the years to come, how much we rallied. Then on top of it, we had this beautiful cup and handle pattern that happened after for many years. Then we have this beautiful breakout, which essentially the target of gold is all the way up here at $3,000, essentially. But like I've explained to you guys, there's a lot of liquidity coming in from money printing very, very soon from all countries across the world, plus lowering of interest rates. So much is about a come, guys, plus the recession on the loom. Recessions are where people make money. In fact, recessions are where people become financially free. So if you listen to all the noise that is going on, everything that is being said um, about these cryptos and about the markets, I think you should be very cautious because I would absolutely and, uh, and, and undoubtedly holding, be holding as much of these assets as I possibly could, considering that the dollar, the Dixie, is going to continue to crash down in its demand. Now, I believe here that on the MACD, we are a little bit overbought on gold, which means that gold could look for some sort of retracement back. I mean, it could just chill here for a little bit. It could just sit while this MACD kind of resets, plus the PMO resets. Why not? It's a little bit overheated right now, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to continue to get even more overheated. But if you look at its entire history, it always rides on the EMA ribbon. And it too in itself actually hasn't had a massive opening of this ribbon. It hasn't had like this very crazy, ridiculous price jump, which I'm going to be very honest with you guys. I showed you a video the other day on my channel right here and um, actually here where I showed you something from Jim Rickards and Jim Rickards believes that gold will be hitting about $25,000 a cycle. We're only at $2,363 right now. That's a 10x it more so 12x in the gold price okay so gold does that imagine what liquidity would be coming into all these other assets and with today being the due day hence the boom so give me some knuckles up and congratulations because even though we have not yet received the confirmation it'll only come in us open session time i would say to you guys that very much so we are about to get that eth etf uh, launch and very simply the indicators are just telling us look at the indicators here look at the macd it's coming into the green the blue is crossing over the pmo is crossing over the price action is breaking up now listen guys i think this is about to become a godlike candle we have the ETH etf approval um i'm going to say to you that the likelihood of us literally smashing through here hitting this level hovering around here for a moment because of the previous all-time high price then literally smashing up probably, you know, to the 6,700 uh, kind of price. But let's leave that there for us right now, because the same thing like gold, the same thing like silver, and the same thing 
like um, Bitcoin, we have pretty much essentially started to consider to um, create a cup and handle pattern. Now, if we do then the math, okay, I'm just going to show you why. We then do the math, look at where that could take the ETH price up to very much so on the potential of this launch. I mean, that could take it to about eight and a half thousand, guys. That's bloody massive. Okay. And we wouldn't have even got anywhere near um, the price that Ethereum should be sitting at. So that's just Ethereum. Ethereum would then dribble all of its wealth down into the altcoins. But we'll touch base on those altcoins now. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and you can use my BitFlex link down below right here for you guys. And you can get up to $88,888 bonus. 88 and together with my Bybit, you'll get up to $128,888 bonuses using my links down below. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and uh, you can see that it is that I'm giving you alpha content 24 seven here pretty much on this. Now I wanna point something out for you. I drew this when I first started this channel with you guys. I drew all of this stuff many, 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 many um, moons ago. Okay, now I just wanna very much show you because I actually haven't really updated it since uh, kind of this uh, about a year ago. But <coughs> let's zoom out. Beat, very simple, BTC dominance is when um, the chart hits the bottom and runs up, okay? So dominance, hence this 20 months of BTC dominance. Then after the 20 months, of BTC dominance, excuse the helicopter flying over the head. We have then kind of a capitulation phase because look at the, the sideways phase here that we have. Um, and here is the halving, ironically, and a couple uh, a couple weeks after the halving, we then get what is the altcoin dominance, ironically, on the 18th of May. Mm -hmm. Today is the 23rd of May, so it's pretty closely aligned, right? And then for about five months, we get this massive drop in Bitcoin dominance and we get this massive altcoin pump. And I'll show you, I'll show you the correlation to that uh, in a short little moment. However, if we look at BTC dominance bounces, we get Bitcoin dominance. Then the same thing for the next eight months, we had altcoin season once again for eight months. So a combination of five months and eight months, pretty much for altcoin season, right? So altcoin season, you really don't have very much time. You have like, call it an average of six months. You have half a year after the halving date, more or less a couple of weeks after the halving date for this to really catastrophically deliver a complete blow to the Bitcoin dominance, boom, drop down, Okay, look at my look at my level. This is my my point. I think Bitcoin dominance will still continue for now, um, especially if the ETH ETF approvals come in. We're going to have a massive inflow of not just income and liquidity into Bitcoin, okay, but we will have this into Ethereum if the spot Ethereum asset is approved. Plus, I have a really cool video to share and show you shortly. So make sure to stay tuned for that because there are other cryptos, blue chip cryptos that could potentially be listed as, uh, you know, if ETH is listed, make no mistake that the likes of Solana, Cardano, Avalanche, and a number of other players, BNB, who knows? No, not BNB, a number of others could actually be um, approved as spot ETFs as well. So Bitcoin dominance, okay? We would see altcoin dominance probably kind of collapse like something like that. So I would say maybe six months, six months at most. I would bank on six months, okay, of complete and massive altcoin, altcoin um, ballisticness. Now, bearing in mind that this, this area here is the equivalent of being down here, buying at this level. So we're already ha kind of halfway up this level here. We're here. In fact, yeah, we're here because we're, we're here because we're not even broken through this previous all-time high, right? So I would say, this level is relative to this level here, essentially this purple box, as you can see, purple box and purple box. Resistance level, finding some support. Now, let's go and actually visit as to how much time we would have from the support on this box, from there until the first peak, eh? 
45 bars of three days. So call it 150, 135 days, eh? And then volume worth basically 58 volume, not not liquidity, volume worth $56 trillion traded in the crypto space. And that was that cycle. Imagine what we're going to do with liquidity printing, ETF approvals, elections, where all of the Democrats and the Republicans are now officially pro-crypto on this Ethereum launch at this time. What do you think is going to happen here, guys? We're going to see something we have never seen in the history of crypto. And this is going to look like a very thin line in the sand here while crypto ends up being all the way up here in this next cycle undoubtedly because i continuously show you this m2 chart here guys if you are ignoring this chart i can't help you because this chart for its entire history has only gone up and this is m2 money supply very simple now if you guys are enjoying this give the video some love i'm going to fly through these next things but uh, this was from yesterday, so 24 hours old. Just in Ethereum ETF applicants submitted amended 19B, Fours, Van Eck, Fidelity, Franklin, ArcVest, Grayscale, and Invesco Galaxy. Uh, Invesco Galaxy. Um, and essentially, you can see here, Van Eck Spot ETF has been listed on the DTCC under ticker ETH. Now, thanks to Watcher Guru for all of these posts. Appreciate it. And um, you guys can see here that these are the tickers that are incoming for Ethereum like crazy, guys. Now, this is very, very cool because Elon Musk accepts um, RFK Juniors. So RFK Juniors request to host a presidential debate with President Biden and Donald Trump. That would be very, very interesting to see why they would want um, uh, Elon Musk involved there. But I guess, you know. Cool. Let the man let the man have some fun there. Let the four of these brains debate. I mean, I don't know how well it's going to end up for this dude. He might have a black, a couple of black eyes and a few broken bones uh, after these three because these three have been completely crypto pro since inception, really. So, and who knows? This man was considered one of the possible uh, developers. So, who knows? Not only that, Bitcoin and Ethereum ETPs, they're very much the same as ETFs, okay? Um... Ghana, so ETPs are electronically traded products or perpetuals. Ghana approval on London Exchange. Very, very cool. London Ethereum ETP is approved on the London Stock Exchange. That's amazing. This dude sold 10,000 Bitcoin 14 years ago for two Papa John's pizzas. Amazing to be able to do it then. But if this dude didn't sell that and he still had it, he'd be worth 700 million today instead of having two pizzas that fed him and his two kids. Although... I would also feed my two kids over that because nobody knows, right? Nobody knows until you know. If you like that, give some knuckles in the comments down below. Guys, where are, where's my community from? I want to know where are my community from. Please tell me where are my community from. Let me know with a flag down below in the comments. I would love to know where my community is from, please. Now, Donald Trump vows to build a Bitcoin army to, to, to win the 2024 election. Well, guess what? Check what he says here. Donald Trump's campaign says he will build a Bitcoin and crypto army and crypto army to defeat Joe Biden in the presidential election. He came out and said that. That's amazing. Good for him. Good for him. I will stand behind that man then. Now, Here's a trader. Bernstein says that ETH will hit 6,600 after the ETF approval. I just kind of showed you like 8,600. So 2,000 difference. Let's see what it can do, guys. Let me know. Will it hit 6,600 or will it hit 8,600? In fact, I'm going to leave a little post for you uh, and we'll see what you guys think down below. Okay, so just in $725 billion asset manager. Bernstein says ETH will reach... Um, 6.6 .6 after Ethereum spot approvals. U.S. Senator Cynthia Luma says there's a bipartisan majority in both chambers of Congress in favor of crypto. The future is now very bright in crypto. President Biden's administration says it's eager to work with Congress to create 
balanced regulatory framework for digital assets. Guys, if you have not gone on the train yet, it possibly is a little too late, especially if you have not invested in any crypto after this date today. Ironically, the full moon in um, the tail end of Scorpio heading into Sagittarius today at 1552. And in fact, I will release this video at 1552 for the full moon because this is that energy that is completely shifting us and changing us, guys. So BlackRock Files updated 19B for its spot Ethereum ETF. That's amazing news. Um, and President Biden does not threaten veto against the House bill crypto. So in other words, he will not veto the FIT21 crypto bill if it is passed today. Now, this is um, uh, Mr. Thomas Emma, and basically Congressman uh, Tom Emma calls to ban CBDCs. He's been pro-crypto forever and says that President Biden wants to trade Americans' rights to privacy for a CCP, although, in other words, Chinese um, uh, style central bank uh, digital currency surveillance tool. Hell no. Good man. If you like that, smash the thumbs up. Now, Grayscale Files updated 19B for its spot Ethereum ETF also. Goldman Sachs exec does, doesn't expect interest rate cuts in 24. Um, and then this, this, this dude, I don't know who, like what channel this dude's on, but he's standing on his own. He's got one dude sitting on the back who's not even listening to him, not even supporting him, not even interested in him. So good luck to Mr. Brad Sherman in the future because he may not have a job anymore. So according to him, passing the crypto bill, FIT21 is creating a competitor to the US dollar used by the world's worst criminals. Um, and cool. Good luck to the US dollar because the US dollar is the tool that has been mostly used in criminal conduction um, across the world and criminal activities across the world. So even if, we've got 1% in the crypto space. The dollar's more like five to 6% of criminal activities, which is like five to six X worse. So imagine the amounts of money that are being laundered in the US dollar. So he knows not what he says. He's lying, he's causing a bunch of bullshit and it is what it is. Now, Nvidia announced a 10 for one stock split, which oof, sometimes that's very dangerous. If you played Robert Kiyosaki's um, cash flow game, you'll know all about that. Go check that out because it's not something I can teach you here. Maybe I can do a video for you guys one day. But essentially, pretty good news for, for NVIDIA. And they reported $26 billion worth of revenue for Q1, which is 5.3% higher than expectations. Holy shit, this company is continuing to grow. And NVIDIA is the leader in digital technology, essentially, which is helping the crypto space expand and grow and create artificial intelligence, chip systems to help people do things better, to help Smart contracts perform their work better. In other words, no need for banks, no need for intermediaries, just a very simple transaction between each other. End of story. Trust the system. US House passes the FIT21 crypto bill. Congratulations to crypto. If you like that, leave a thumbs up on the video, guys, because that is great. Now, this is going to scare the shit out of you because this woman, not so long ago, was like, Firing shots, bazookas, cannons, tanks, military warships, all kinds of F1 stealth bombers at crypto. Now, all of a sudden, this crazy chick, Nancy Pelosi, fucking psychopath, excuse me, voted in favor of crypto bull fit 21. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'll give it a heart. Well done to you for coming out of the dark and into the light, lady. Okay, this is the video I wanted to share with you. The SEC the is starting to up. amend these S ones, uh -huh. so I don't know if the on Ethereum on ETF gets approved today, you know, next week or the week after. It will get approved at some point in time, but also the trade now is who's next, Through right? Exactly. Who's 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 next? next? Because so, it, it, you know, yeah. and, and I was talking about yesterday. Now it's almost time for truly my my guys, ETF, my look. blended ETF of which you know yep. which crypto asset it is, and and so who is next though? I mean, I think you've got to think about Solana as probably the next one, right? I mean, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana are probably the big three for this cycle. Um, but I'll give you even a stranger, or maybe not stranger, but a, maybe an unintuitive way to think about it. Robinhood and Coinbase. 
because now we have some clarity about what a security is and what isn't. And they'll be able to list a lot more crypto, which means a lot more trading for them. So I think they're the biggest beneficiaries from the change that's gone on. Good points, right? Yeah, would you say so? Then we're going to have some fun here. I'm going to go and look at some of my new trades, guys, that I got into. And one of them's down a little bit more than I'd like, but that's pretty much okay. So this man is going to change the life of crypto. And he has literally created an internal war in the Congress US government because he is completely pro crypto. And so are most of the nation because they can see how beneficial crypto is. So if you have not yet stepped into this, knowing that the US is the power of the world, or a very big power of the world, do you think that they are going to relinquish their power to the rest of the world? No, don't be fooled. So they are not going to lose out on this opportunity. All of the fight and the bullshit, if you guys were not accumulating crypto down here and through this bear market and this support zone and still all the way up to this all-time high, since I've been talking about it, okay, I can't help you guys. I really can't help you. But I can tell you that we are going to see financial freedom coming for everybody. And that's the massive boom. Because as you can see here, this is what's going on. So you can see, according to Jake Shavinsky, FIT21 passes the House 279 to 136. House Democrats voting in favor of this bill 71. That's a huge number of elected Democrats voting no confidence in the current SEC and sending a message to the Biden administration that anti-crypto is a losing platform this year. There is zero time remaining. Guys, the shift is happening. The shift is here. It is here. Okay. It has been done. The bill has been passed. Crypto is pretty much getting ready. Once the spot Ethereum ETF has been approved, that is the green light, the green light for crypto. And we are all about to become more wealthy than ever before. If you have been following my channel, you can see that today we're a couple hundred billion from last week's kind of 2.4. We're now sitting at 2.7 plus the trading volume is now at 142. The trading volume is dramatically increasing. Okay, things are happening. Things are happening now. And this is why in no way am I concerned with where we're going and what we're doing. My videos to come over the next few months are going to start to become more focused on how to take profits and continuing to prevent yourself from scams. If you want to know more, make sure to hit that notification bell and we will dive right in. But as you can see here, I'm not losing any interest here right now because right now we're breaking out of this flag pattern and boom, we're going to make our next step up, guys. Our next step up is to break this level, 75, 76K, okay? Now, I got into two more trades yesterday. Even though they're down ever so slightly, don't worry about those. I've taken a 10X trade. I've taken a 10X trade. I've only put $5 in each of them, guys. It's the same as what I've done up there. This is what I'm showing you. Uh, you can duplicate this with $5, $500, $5,000, $50,000, $500,000, five million dollars $50 million, $5 billion if you have it, okay? Whatever your category is for your trading, I like to show you that it's not impossible to build an account from $4 to $200. Like, come on, guys. That's massive gains. 3,000% so far, and we haven't even broken out and hit all-time highs, essentially. Um, so I got into a gala and a say trade. So my gala trade is a little bit down. We'll have a little bit of a look. I mean um at the gala trade i want to show you how perfectly uh my ethereum trade was as well if you would like to see that of course it's very nice to share with you my trades and yeah there you go i got in down here boom check at that boom this is the thing about building up your position guys so we make a run up we have a we hit a resistance we have a collapse it builds a channel it finds a base you enter in at the base you wait for it to go up pull back carry on its next journey which looks like this over there very simple right super simple okay but of course you need to be patient and wait for indications because 
like there would have been that level there would have been your 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 level guys like it's the same pattern right it's, it's the exact same pattern okay so boom what's next so yeah ethereum is definitely going to hit up to like five thousand dollars possibly over the next couple of days um so if you guys didn't get into this trade with me then i don't know what to do with you but gala i showed you where to get into a gala trade and gala i'm going to be holding for a little gala and my say trade i'll probably look for one or two more guys i don't really want more than six trades i think right now um you know just i'm very busy in my business and to manage them is extremely difficult so check out my level here i mean you can see why because we're flattening out so the same thing channel was he trying to break out of it this candle yesterday was a, a, a lot of volume trying to break out of it plus the doji candle to tell us we're reversing up plus the breakout and no breakdown of that volume uh, of that wick there so we're waiting very nicely and very patiently even if we do dip down a little bit lower i put in another order there okay to lower my entry level because there right now is my position and this is on the daily but that's okay because essentially on the daily time frame of when in doubt zoom out because look at where we're at right here okay just on the daily time frame so just to get up to that level guys from where we currently are i mean look at that that's a 100 percent move with a 10x trade 10x that's a thousand thousand percent um okay so i literally took what five dollars and turned it into five hundred dollars you see what i'm saying so i need you guys to realize something very very important here that gala albeit who knows where it's going to go if it's going to go anywhere to its crazy ridiculous all-time highs but i mean get a good look at that because i actually think gala and i've done some cool videos i'll leave them pinned in the comments above but i think gala gonna go like five dollars man so if gala is here and it goes to just there and you hold that trade for a few more months you can see a 1500 percent in other words you're just turning five dollars into like 50 60 grand it's, it's mad five six grand excuse me five dollars into five six grand holding for a few months pay a few a little bit of fees like that is what it is it's going to have and look at the entry there so even though my entry wasn't down here okay it doesn't matter we're finding an entry on this baseline which is building a support level okay which just might i say is a cup and a handle pattern formation that's kind of getting going off of this baseline plus a shoulder a head and a shoulder formation busy forming they're all over if you guys haven't seen this then have a look at say as well let's go and have a look at my say trade and um so my guard is down like a little bit of 30 percent it's irrelevant right now is it so i'll just add some more to it this is my say trade and the same concepts guys look at my say trade look at where we're at we're busy breaking out of this level okay this is going to be the first level that we test the next level is going to be this level and then of course that that top there okay of course that's massive, massive at a 10x. Go look at there and look at all my entries that I've got if in case it continues to fall down. But like to the top, that's a hundred percent. Okay. In other words, you're 10xing your money again. So I've taken five dollars and turned it into fifty dollars. Whatever your amount of money is, you can turn it into whatever you want. The choice is yours. I chose to do this for the sake of the purposes of helping um beginners come into the space. Because if you guys look at my channel, I might not be a beginner anymore. I'm actually pretty well experienced in crypto um but yeah i'd like to share because it's a smaller more boutique channel for you guys i'd like to share the fact that you have the benefit of starting from one dollar in trading use my links down below have some fun with me subscribe to my channel and we'll see you on the next one you bless beautiful souls take care and have a lovely day ahead